Welcome back, everybody. It's February 8th, and that means Deco Crate time. New round of Deco Crate. Uh, it's Vintage Paris this time around. Uh, we've got uh, 15 content creators. And let's just go through them all real quick. Chez Moi, Aria, Backbone. Uh, this is Damas Aria. Sources, Mesh India, Merrick. I think uh, they couldn't make it uh, last round. I think the uh, content creator was sick. So, welcome to February. <laughs> oh, and someone just subscribed to me. Well, thank you. Whoever did that. Uh, your dreams. Um, Maru Kedo, I think. That's how you pronounce that. Maybe, maybe not. Convair, Lorison, Void, Zerkalo, uh, Serenity Style, and last but not least, Cheeky P. All right, so let's get into this and see what we got. I've already unboxed everything and rested it out just to make this a little quicker uh, so you guys don't have to sit through my resing and whatnot and uh, waiting for all the textures to come in. So let's get rid of this in the meantime. And then, uh, by the way, if you click each one of these individual uh, drawers, it'll unpack that item. Otherwise, you can just do unpack all. Uh, and then you can join the DecoCrate group down here. And this delete button deletes the trunk. I learned that the hard way last time, thinking it was just going to delete the scripts and leave this as a decoration. But no, that just sends the trunk. Goodbye. So first up is Chez Moi. We have this bed and um, this butterfly wall decor. That's two land impact. The bed is seven. And you get an adult MPG version. And then also a HUD to uh, customize the bed. Oh, you can change the sheets and pillowcases? Ah, I see. Very cool. Nice little bed. Let's just uh, hop in there and see what uh, single males. Roomy. Oh yeah, that's taking up a lot of room. Sleep light. Cold. Oh, I like these animations. Unquiet sleep. Ugh. I can't sleep on my stomach. I lie down. Whoa. Uh, tummy. Tummy rest. Oh man, there's a ton. Peaceful, ease, listen to music. Oh, we got even a uh, little iPhone and uh, headset pops up too. That's cool. Calm. Deep seat. What's that about? Oh, hanging off the edge. That's cool. Very nice. That was from Chez Moi. Uh, let's just stand. A very nice, very nice bed. And again, that was, what did I say? That was seven land impact and two for the decorations. Yes, very cool. All right, so this is the uh, Damas Aria Vintage Paris Day Bed and Rug. Uh, looks like they have a PG and adult version. The rug is three land impact. Mm, that's kind of, I don't know. Sometimes, why is like rugs like, I don't know, shouldn't they, I don't know why they need to be more than one land impact. I don't know. I am not a content designer, so I can't really say, but, you know. That's just me. And then the day bed is 10. And. Oh, 
what does the info say about it? Uh, adult version has nine single sit female, six single males, 12 cuddle kiss, 16 sex. PG has nine, six, and 12. Very cool. DAD, uh, Damas Aurea. Or Damas. Damas? Domas? Domas Aurea? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so awful at this. And it looks like it's not texture changing. But still pretty cool. I mean, it's a little high on the uh, land impact, I think, for myself. Um, but still a cool nonetheless. I like it. Next up is Void, uh, this phonograph. And this actually plays music. If you click it, uh, there's looks like there's radio stations or music stations built into it, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, I probably won't play them uh, in the video just because I don't know if YouTube's going to uh, have a fit about that or not. But it looks pretty cool. Nice texture work. I mean, look at that. And what are we looking at? Land Impact. Oh, five. Five for a music box. I kind of have like a little more modern one down in my home down below, but it doesn't even play music, and this one does. So, hmm. Gonna have to make some choices, I think. But very cool. And that was from Void. This is Maru Kado. I think, maybe. And it's this kind of hanging chandelier lamp, which is pretty cool. Does it have on and off? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, please read. I should probably read that. Oh, it's just the balloon chandelier, the Flickr groups, marketplace, website, Facebook, that stuff. Uh, and I think it comes in at five land impact, which not too too bad but uh, the design of it is super cool look at this oh and there's like I didn't even notice that until now little butterflies on here and there as well wow you don't even see them until you like really look at it that is super cool Are there any more? Oh, there's another one up here. That is pretty neat. This is tempting to use. Very tempting. And that was uh, Maru Kado, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is uh, Mesh India. It's an all a one piece uh, vintage Paris table set. Uh, it's all linked together. And it's only eight land impact for uh, this entire decor. And this is pretty cool too. I may very well use this. And if I can find a spot in my house, I will probably res this out. Because uh, it just looks pretty nice. And again, you can just move the whole thing together. It's all stuck together. Very nice. Mesh India. I like it. They have this little vintage sewing corner. Uh, so one option is uh, the cabinet with the um, uh, linen's already uh, linked to it, which is six land impact. Then uh, you have uh, the cabinet that uh, just comes bare. And then you have these hat boxes, I think. Maybe that's what it is, I'm not sure. Which is two land impact, the uh, sewing 
uh, scissors and needles and um, I guess those are designs or patterns on the top I don't know uh, but that's land one land impact and let's move this out of the way real quick the linen is one one and one and then finally they have this mannequin that's three so that is from Merrick that's pretty cool so you can change it up and decorate it however you want by either using the blank cabinet and uh, maybe throwing your own stuff in there if you didn't want the linens uh, just use it as some uh, storage in your in your place uh, but yeah very nice the f nice texture work too I don't know if that's oh maybe that's just like boxes of linen or s in a roll or in it or something it just reminds me of hat boxes Couture. But that was from Merrick. Very nice. I like it. And you know, the uh, cabinet's only three land impact, so it's not. I mean, that's definitely doable. It's definitely usable if you just want to use the cabinet alone. Or. Um, oh, there's my tidbit telling me sh I should get off my ass. Or just six for uh, this piece of decor, and then you'd add, uh, say, like this and this for like another three. But very nice. This little number is from Aria. This is the headboard. Uh, this, the headboard itself is three land impact, and then it comes with this little nightstand, which is one, very nice, and this lamp, this teacup light, mm, I might get some use out of that, which is two. Lights on, very nice. Does this, how many textures does this change to? Fabric. Oh, not bad. For at first, I was thinking it was all floral, but I mean, they got some, you know, nice uh, fabric options for a guy. And there's the rose and beige. And then the fact of floral, what was the robin? Oh, the robin's kind of a blue, or I don't know why they call that robin. It's like a turquoise to me, or, or something, sea green. I don't know. But that is from Aria. I probably might use the teacup lamp, but uh, oh, what texture changes do we have there? Teacups. Uh, just keep it with the full white. Not going with the floral. What about this thing? Textures. Wood. Oh, black, white, cream, hunter, and gray. Oh, it's like hunter green. Okay, cool. Very nice. I like the worn touch texture work on this too. That looks good. And that was from Aria. Next up is this little I don't know how you pronounce this, but it let's just call it a love seat or something. But it is from Cheeky P and uh it's just this the seat. It comes in at six land impact, so that's nice. I mean, for the pillows and all the rolled edges and everything, and the really looks like a nice piece of furniture. Sad part is, uh, pretty sure you're stuck at this texture, which Wraith would not be caught dead having in his house, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Singles. Coco fidget. Oh, 
apply it. Yeah, how does that cross leg? Yeah, how about that cross leg? Where? Oh, I got this on. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple poses too. Do they say anything about uh, no? So I imagine it's just PG. I mean, it looks really nice, but yeah, I'm not having this pink um, pink stuff in my place. Sorry, it's not Wraith's color, unfortunately. All right, next up is from Zirkolo. We've got this shabby chic jewelry box and rows and letters. It's just some uh, little miscellaneous decor. Rows and letters, three land impact, the jewelry box, one. It's beautiful texture work on it, but again, not something Wraith would be caught dead in his house with. But very cool nonetheless. I mean, look at that. That's nice. I like it. And again, that's from Zirkolo. Hope I pronounced that right. I All right, this is Backbone Breakfast in Paris. Uh, you get a few options here. First off, you get uh, a table with um, all the stuff linked together. It's only four land impact. Uh, you get a couple croissants and uh, two coffees, uh, the coffee pot and napkins. And then you get uh, the stool, which is one land impact. And then if you don't want the decorations and stuff, uh, on top or you just want to use a decoration separately uh, in your house alone you can get the uh, table itself for two the pot for one uh, coffee for one a croissant for one and uh, the napkins for one I would probably definitely use those parts down my house to add a little more decoration in my kitchen but this is pretty cool that's a nice little um, Say like a breakfast corner in your house or something. Breakfast nook? Definitely. Definitely would uh, think about using this. And the great part of it about this is it's like very little land impact. Four for that. And then just a uh, couple more for the stools. So yeah. This is a really nice little uh, breakfast setup. Paris or not, it looks pretty good. Oh, sugar packet, that's what that is on the side. Very nice. And that was from Backbone. From sources, we have this. Is this a bed? A Kisio? It comes in blue and white. Um. I'm going to guess this is a bed. Yeah. It's kind of different. Uh, I don't think this is really right style, but it looks pretty cool. And um, 11 land impact for the whole uh, setup, which isn't too bad. For bed, lay relax. Back. It looks like there's uh, cuddles and then sex poses too. So, uh, and it comes in a blue and white version. So it's definitely uh, an adult bed. And it's got this lighting along the side. Very cool. And that was from sources. Okay, next up is this uh, gazebo from Convair. This thing is amazing looking. 
I mean, holy shit. That is just wild looking. But the downside is this puppy is 59 land impact. That's like half of my house. But let me just pull this down a little so you can see the top two. It is awesome looking. I mean, look at this. It's is that like a tin plated roof or uh, brass or something? Maybe brass. It is just beautiful. But yeah, I don't see myself using this at, at least not for a maybe for a special occasion. But just definitely not for being rezzed out um, all the time. That's just a little too high land impact. Next up is this uh, Lorison Studio Skybox. It's just this um, simple room with like a little loft piece up here. And I don't know if you can actually walk outside. No, I don't. This doesn't look like it opens. And that doesn't go anywhere, but very nice texture work. Um, land impact is 15. And that is that skybox. It's pretty small, but hey, it's not bad. I mean, if you got like a little spot uh, way up in the sky, s small uh, little plot, you can certainly make a nice little cozy uh, place out of this thing. That was from Lawrenson, uh, the old attic studio skybox. This doesn't come boxed, it, he just uh, rises out and that's that. And then from Serenity Style, we have uh, this bistro or um, pastry shop. It's got, I think, three floors to it? Yes. Three or no, yes, three. Three floors to it. Very nice little shop. I like the woodwork on the floor. And uh, this thing comes in at 31 land impact. Now, this is just a straight up building. Uh, it's, I don't think it's really designed as a skybox or anything. This is just uh, something you have rezzed out on your sim uh, to use as part of uh, like city structure, which is really cool. You got the little uh, smokestacks and everything up top. Last up from your dreams is uh, this vintage garden mini, we mini wedding. Ugh, if I could only talk. So this is the reser, and I hope I have enough prims on my land to res this thing out. Oh, important read. Maybe I should read this first. Um, permissions, yes, copy, yes, mod, no transfer. Okay, so it doesn't mention anything about the land impact. So let's give this thing a shot from your dreams, res. And hopefully, my uh, sim doesn't take a total fart. Holy shit. This is like, res out a whole wedding thing. It really, and this is more than a, more than a mini wedding. Holy fuck. Holy shit, how much <laughs> land impact did this? Oh my god. Uh, four for the flower boxes. Five for the chairs. Holy shit. 
my god my freaking a little parcel is gonna freaking puke any second two for the candles man oh man um a flower box was four two the table is eight holy shit yeah this is that's a lot but I mean it looks pretty cool I mean if you were need to set up a wedding boom I mean you're good to go with this thing holy crap you're almost done Do these things change textures I don't think so guess you're stuck with pink and yellow in your wedding I don't know if that would be my choice of colors but uh, the chairs and stuff are nice but I wouldn't leave these lying around five land impact for that no that's a little too much so let's click that thing in d res because that oh my god and that is the uh i believe that is everything for the deco crate uh, february edition vintage paris i hope everybody liked it uh if you did please give a thumbs up and or subscribe if you didn't because i would greatly appreciate that and I thank everybody for sticking through this and watching it. Uh, take care and see you guys next time.